Hello and welcome to the final episode of our series on getting started with the Java Client Library for the Google Ads API. If you've made it this far in the series, you probably know me by now. I'm Mattia Tomasone and I'm a Developer Relations Engineer working on the Google Ads API. My, how far we've come together! We started from scratch and together we created all the credentials we needed and then we created a Java project and we've learned how to import the client library for the Google Ads API. And after that, we learned how to make it use the credentials we created to authenticate against the API. So now we're finally ready to make authenticated calls to the Google Ads API. As a Hello World project with the API, we are going to run the Ad Campaigns example. You can find the source code for it on GitHub and I will also leave you the link to it in the video description below. So you can run it and all the other code examples in your application to familiarize with the API and its features. Here in my IDE, though, I have a slightly modified version of the Ad Campaigns code example. I made a small change in the way it retrieves the ID of the Google Ads customer account I want to use to remove a dependency from an external library. And at the bottom, I also changed the name of the campaigns we're going to create with Getting Started with Java to recognize them. Note that I also added a UUID at the end of the campaign name to be able to create multiple campaigns at once and distinguish them in the Google Ads front end. By default, our code example loads the credentials from the ads.properties file in the home directory of the machine, and that's okay for us as we've seen together how to use it in a previous video. Note though that we can also use the environment variable, as we were saying in the previous video, by configuring the Google Ads client with the from environment method or we can also use a different properties file or a properties object. So there's just one step left for us to be able to add our Google Ads campaigns, and it is to pass the customer ID of the Google Ads account we want to use. To do so, we need to add it as a program argument in the run configuration, so I need to open the run configuration and add it in here. By doing so, it will be in the arguments passed to the main function, and it will be picked up here. So we're all set now. We can click on the Run button and run the example. Once it has finished executing, we can see it has created two campaigns, as specified by the number of campaigns to add constant at the top of the code example. So we can take a look at our Google Ads account then, and in the Campaigns section we will see the two campaigns we just created. Hooray! This concludes our journey. We started from scratch, and now we have a Java project all set to interact with the Google Ads API that you can use as a basis to create your own application. Thanks a lot for following through this series. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, please click the like button on this and on the other videos in the series. Above all, though, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can always be up to date with the Google Ads API. I hope to see you soon in the next videos. Okay.